Hello everyone, and welcome to The Mortuary. I am the Mortician. And today, you might notice a few different things. I'm actually using a mic, which I'm going to be reviewing, with an audio interface, which I'll be reviewing, and I'm in a different room. I am in uh, my recording studio. It won't be a true recording studio until I actually soundproof it, but that's why I've been, uh, you know, away from YouTube. So, I wanted to review, just to get back, so, because I know there's a lot of beginners out there who want to do, like, you know, produce and mix music and stuff like that, so I th I'm definitely one of them, and I just pick some stuff up, so I'm going to be reviewing the stuff that I picked up, so without further ado, let's get on with this shit. First thing I'll be reviewing is the Lexicon Alpha. Now, uh, the Lexicon Alpha was $60, $50 or $60. If you don't know what it is, it's an audio interface. Um, it's actually very well built. Sounds very solid. Um, I'm actually using it to record this microphone. So we have here on the front, we have, I'm going to start from the right to the left. We have an input. Uh, for the headphones, this is a monitor mix. This is for, no, oh, this one's a monitor mix. This one's for uh, output level for the monitors. Then there is this a little switch or button that turns the monitors into either stereo or mono. We have a line two mic input, which is what I'm using right now. Um, and below that we have a little peak LED. So what happens is, is if, maybe I can get it right, right there. So what happens is if, if I'm like recording something and I notice that it's a little off, I can actually adjust the levels right here because it'll tell me, it'll flash red that I've gone over the threshold. So I adjust it and then we're off. Then we have line one in, sorry, uh, line one in. And a quarter inch uh, instrument jack. It's uh, I like this a lot. Um, very solid. It sounds very good. I'll at the end of the video. I'm going to put a clean test for this. I re I recorded it for uh, playing with power. So if you like it, go check it out. My music out because it's gonna get a hell of a lot better. I use this to record quite a few things. This mic too. Um, I've had it for three or four days. I've recorded a lot of shit with playing with power already. Seven and a half hours worth of shit with this mic and this audio interface. The audio interface works beautifully. I have no complaints. The only complaint I have is probably my amp's fault or my ear's fault. And that is that um, when I put, try to record my overdrive, with my amp, it comes out clean, but a little bit louder. And it's a little weird, but that's fine to get around if you have a mic like this. Um, but the clean sounds very nice. Uh, so when I did the clean t uh, testing and the music at the end, I did nothing to it except equalization just because it was a little weak. But it's because I don't have a preamp or anything. I needed it to be a little bit louder. Um, I needed it to be a little bit finer. So, that's how I learn. Um, I think it was worth 50 bucks easily. Um, I'm not, I'm going to get monitors soon. So I'll be able to test the monitor thing for that. And maybe I'll do a part two to this review. And it comes with, this is the, this is for the drivers. This you want to install, it says before. Install this, which is Cubase, which is the DAW it comes with. It's Cubase LE5. I can't seem to um, get it to install. It won't read. My uh, disk drive won't read it, but um, I'm sure it'll be fine once I actually get it to read. Um, so I recorded that music with Audacity, but you have to... You have to install this first before installing this. And the reason is, is I guess because the drivers fuck with this if you don't install it first for some reason. So, uh, I, I, I don't think that the DAW would be really good anyway. I'm looking into getting Reaper. 
because Reaper, I think, is good. I've heard a lot of good things about Reaper. So, and we're on to the actual the microphone. This microphone is beautiful. You can probably hear me better, um, like a lot better. I used to use a headset, not anymore. I'm not no longer will I use a headset to record. I'm using this beauty. I got it for forty dollars. It's the Samson CS series microphone, and I am so happy. For forty dollars, I got an amazing deal. Whew. Sorry, I'm getting a little winded. I haven't, you know, done this in a while. It comes with two capsules. I actually have the case. Right here, it comes with two capsules. The one I'm using right now is the first one that comes installed on it, and then there's this one, the Samson CS2, which is made for recording musical instruments, which I use this. I'm gonna start using this when I do heavy tracks for playing with power and uh, heavy tracks for my channel. If I, you know, do another record jam session, I'll be using this. I used to use my. Uh, amps plug in but it just doesn't cut it it's it was so bad it was so quiet it wasn't it wasn't good at all so i have to say i've recorded what i was saying with this microphone 7.5 hours for playing with power and we used only this microphone we had to be somewhat close but I think the quality will be a lot better. We used it on Super Mario World um, parts. I actually have the parts. I'll just bring them up right now so I can be exact. We used them for parts. This is five through eight. And we're going to continue using it. And we used it for all of uh, Super Mario 64. Which that's not a series yet. But uh, spoilers. Um, I haven't actually... I don't sing. So I haven't really tested out, you know, this for singing. So I'm going to, you know, just leave that alone. I'm definitely not a vocalist to any degree. As you can probably tell that I'm, like, kind of getting fucked and winded by just talking uh the di box you need one of these that's that's how it was explained to me you need a di box when you are playing um i'm not really sure why especially because when i use a microphone i can't really use this because it goes from an unbalanced, which is these uh, the regular instrument cables that come with uh, that you use with guitars and basses, to an XLR, which microphones use, which is a balanced in output. So, I use this when record. I also use this when recording the um, the clean song at the end. Uh, I I I haven't really noticed a difference, but that's just because you know I'm just getting started. Uh, maybe I'll do a comparison track, you know, with it, without it, you know, clean stuff. So, here we go. I, I, I'm reading off a list because I, the last, I recorded this, or I tried to record this like twice, and I was just not satisfied. So, to wrap things up, all of this... Oh, this was 20 bucks, by the way. All of this for approximately $160, excluding cables. It's a pretty nice setup. Um, I am absolutely thrilled with everything I got. The Lexicon Alpha is really, really awesome. Um, I heard a lot of people just, like, talk shit about it, but th I think they're complete idiots. Uh, I almost didn't buy it because of those reviews, but I just took a chance because I needed... I, I want to do... I want to be an audio engineer. I need to learn, you know... I need to start practicing and learning. So this is the way to do it. Is start from the bottom and then, you know, escalate to the top. But, um... Very nice. 
everything I'm satisfied with. The Lexicon Alpha I would buy. The Samson CS series is a wonderful microphone. Um, I cannot recommend this stuff enough. It's got the mortuary seal of approval. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, Mortician, peace out. Thank you.